but every day I walk to campus from home. It's a mile and a half, rain or shine, or snow. This is Minnesota, so we expect a lot of snow. This is my department, the English department. This is basically the world I live in. It's all my books. That's what I do all my work. And my work has been basically focused on the relationship of Europe and the Islamic world with emphasis both on the European and the Arab Islamic side. And I started with a trilogy. Uh, Islam in Britain was my first kind of uh, important book. It was widely reviewed, followed by another book which was actually translated into Arabic, also translated into Turkish. And the third kind of part of that trilogy was this book. And then I had started another trilogy at the same time, which, you know, the first was in the lands of the Christians. This was a very kind of significant piece of work for me. And the third appeared just a couple of years ago, uh, an Arab ambassador in the Mediterranean world. Meanwhile, I had been doing a lot of other stuff. Uh, this book, Islam for Beginners, was actually translated into Chinese, which was quite nice. Uh, Britain and the Islamic World. I worked with a colleague of mine through the eyes of the beholder, a group of essays. Uh, British captives from Mediterranean uh, to the Atlantic was an enormous amount of work because this kind of took me years and years at the archives. And then Henry Stubb and the Beginnings of Islam came out a couple of years ago. Meanwhile, also, alongside with the books, are all sorts of book chapters, articles, uh, uh, contributions to uh, encyclopedias, and these are all here. So I've kind of more or less kept everything that I've done here. Uh, the office is very convenient. We get a lot of support at the university for research. Uh, we also do other things as well, of course. We have, you know, we participate in committees. Uh, I'm on a committee now in terms of hiring a faculty member to teach Muslims in America with the religious, uh, the religious studies department. Uh, and basically, you know, that's where I am most of the time. Okay, I just drove down to the Minneapolis Institute of Art. I'm meeting a former graduate student of mine who is discussing a project to be mounted at the Institute uh, in the next few weeks. I'm at the Minneapolis Institute of Art. I just go down to meet my former student, Dr. Katie Snerris, who's organizing this room. This is a Tudor room to show the influence of Islam on uh, Tudor in Sweden. We're in the Islamic uh, painting and calligraphy section of the museum, and I'm going to discuss with Dr. Snerris the objects that she wants to show in the Tudor room. Uh, what do you think you're going to include? So I'm hoping at minimum to include um, this is 16th century Islamic pitcher and plate. They're exactly the sorts of objects that a, a merchant ship could bring back and a collector would include in his home as a status symbol. Wonderful. I think that's great. Okay, well, back to the office now, lunch, and then off to class. Thank you.